What it do, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my first Overwatch video here on the channel, and you know, I am super duper uber excited for this game, and that just sounded retarded, but who cares? I'm super excited for this game, and you know, so before leading into this game's release, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and review or give my analysis on some of the characters or heroes or whatever you want to call them inside the game just from my uh, experience playing the beta. Now, the first character we're going to do is going to be Tracer, which is probably kind of like one of the main, like, staple characters, just because she's in the cinematic trailer, and, you know, a lot of people just seem to like her because her British accent, which I'm not going to lie, uh, you know, I dig the British accent, not trying to sound like a freaking pedophile that's, like, hitting on a video game character or anything like that, but that's besides the point, guys, let's get right into this analysis. Now, Tracer is going to be your very agile, you know, mobility-based hero that has very low health. She has the lowest amount of health in the game with 150 hit points, and her ability is going to be the blink ability, which allows you to teleport. You get three blinks, and it will allow you to teleport uh, based on the direction you're moving, so, you know, sideways, backwards, forwards, all that kind of stuff. They recharge pretty fast, so you don't have to worry about, you know, saving them or whatever thing. You can just kind of spam them to get around the map quickly, because trust me, they regenerate very quickly. Now, as far as her... Um, Weapon is going to be the Pulse Pistols, I believe they're called, uh, yes, and they have a, I'm trying to think here, I want to say they have a 40 bullet clip, I'm not 100% sure on that, all I know is they're high, high, high damage, their dual pistols are very high damage, however, they have a low magazine, and they burn through it very quickly, so you're going to have to be reloading a lot, and you're going to, but... With Tracer's, you know, teleportation abilities and all that kind of good stuff, you know, you can pop in, shoot, shoot them up, have to recall, which is her next ability, which I'm going to be discussing here in a minute, back so you can reload. Now, just to hop into the recall ability, the recall ability uh, also charges pretty quickly, uh, not as fast as the blink ability, so you will have to, uh, you know, watch out on that one, but however, the recall ability takes you back in time for three seconds, you recover ammo, you recover hit points, and as well as it just kind of gets you out of the fight. Now, the recall ability on other players screens, I know this is kind of like a small thing, but the recall ability on other players screens just shows you teleporting from that place backwards. Now on your screen it kind of shows a rewinding animation, which you will see somewhere here in this gameplay. And it just kind of shows a rewinding animation, so when you do get back to where you're teleporting back to or whatever, you're less disoriented because, you know, you got to watch it rewind and your eyes can focus a little bit better on where you're needing to go, where's the enemy player, and all that kind of good stuff. Now, her last ability is going to be her Pulse Bomb, which is pretty much a Simtex grenade for all of you Call of Duty players or whatever out there. It's just a sticky grenade. Now, uh, this sticky grenade is super duper powerful, you know, she, it does mass amounts of damage. Uh, you know, what a, the, a big play that a lot of people do, and I apologize for the ums right there, but anyway, what a lot of people do is they like to run in with her blink ability, place the bomb, and then use their recall ability to get back out of there and let the bomb blow up. It's a great way to, you know, take out choke points, uh, as well as if you see a lot of enemies in one position, you know, you can just blink right in there, place your bomb, and then recall right back out of there. So, guys, this character is uh, probably one of my favorites personally because I do enjoy the kind of you know kind of agile, sneaky character. But a few tips for playing this character is if you have, if you do play this character, you know, if you're new to the game, I wouldn't really recommend Tracer. Um, they're a lot better noob-friendly characters out there. And Tracer, you know, to play her, you kind of have to have a sense for flanking. So if you're one of those people that just likes to run straight into the gunfight, this is definitely not the character for you. Um, you will die very quickly, so you want to make sure that you're using very, you know, efficiently your teleportation abilities and recall abilities. So, and you also want to make sure that you have pretty good ammo with Tracer, or not ammo, but accuracy. Because if you don't, you're going to shoot your clip out way, way too fast, and you're not going to have any more bullets. So you're going to have to stop and reload. And while you're stopping and reloading, since you have very little hit points, if you don't have a recall ability, then chances are you're screwed. So, that is pretty much my analysis on this character. Now, uh, just a little bit of backstory for all you lore people out there. She used to be a pilot that is experimenting in teleportation. Uh, you know, airplanes and stuff like that. Her teleportation experiment gone very wrong, and you know, it kind of uh, screwed her up, made her teleport all over the place and do all kinds of really weird things. But Winston, the uh, monkey 
you know, big soldier dude hero, also in the cinematic trailer, uh, actually fixed her little vest thing that she wears that you can see in the cinematic trailer that allows her to control her teleportation abilities and all that kind of good stuff. So she's really, really good friends with uh, uh, Winston. So, you know, uh, there's a little bit of lore for you guys, but besides that, that's all I have to say about this character. Uh, this character is definitely a very, very, very good character if you are skilled enough to control her and time her abilities correctly. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Gonna be bringing all kinds more of Overwatch videos leading up to Overwatch and when Overwatch comes out. So, if you guys are looking forward to Overwatch, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And I'll be bringing more character analysis and all other kinds of videos for you guys. But, until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye! Yeah.